Amen. Ready? Yeah. All right. Father, we thank you for another Shabbat. We ask you right now that you may bless, Father God, that the truth come out even more. Father, that you bless those who are laboring in the truth, laboring in the streets, laboring in the, even in the camps. Father God, in sanctuaries, in the truth, we ask you right now that you continue to bless. Touch even the prayer in the prayer box. Shalom. No, get down. That's it. You sit over there. You sit and behave yourself over there. Yes, our subject is return unto your heritage. And that's what the most high is. Is it you or how you say it? It's your. Your. Return unto your heritage. So that's what the most high is telling us. Right? right? Return, your return. He's not telling us to return to Pentecostal. Right? To your heritage. Heritage. H. It's H E R H E R I T A R Y. Yeah. So the most high God told us to return to Pentecostal, right? Sure. Meaning Pentecostal denomination, church, and all that. But we know that Pentecostal is uh, Pentecost is a feast. Feast. Right? Your return to your heritage. Is that right? Your return? Return unto your heritage. It's just, it's just Plain return. simple. It's just return. Return unto okay. your heritage. Gotcha. Return unto okay. your heritage. Oh, it's uh, H-E-R-I-T-A-R-Y. And so that's what the Most High is telling our people to return, right? Yeah. Israel, to return to your heritage. Not to a Baptist church, not to a Pentecostal church. Not to a Presbyterian church. True. Not to none of those, but return to your heritage. Yeah. Right? Yep. Your laws. Right? I think the problem is this new generation don't know nothing about the heritages. Yeah. And we start out with Jeremiah 17:14. Jeremiah 17, 14. Not 17, 14, but 74. 17, 14. Yeah. 17, 4. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 17, 4. Okay, 17. Verse 4. Okay. 17, 4, not 14. It came out wrong. Okay. It's 14. Not, but 17, 4. So, those who may be thinking that's what the Most High is saying, no, he's not saying that. He's not saying for you to return to Pentecostal church. True. Or, or Baptist church or all that. He's telling his people to return to their heritage. Mm -hmm. Which is your law, right? for my loading up. Okay, you said Jeremiah 17.4? Yeah. <coughs> All right over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I spelled wrong, guys. Take out that R and take out that Y. Yeah, right here. yeah I tell you. Yeah, y'all see it right in here. And G is A G E. A G E R? Yeah. Is it 
uh, the title is Return to Your Heritage. Okay, it, 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 oh, it's Return. Yeah, Return. R E T R E T T U U R R N. Yeah. Return. Okay. To to your your heritage. Y O U R. And then you spell heritage. Yeah. You see him for it. Yeah, Isn't I see it? right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll be right in there. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 17. And thought, even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemy in a land which thou knowest not. For you have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. See? So that as you see that we lost our heritage, right? Yeah. We just continued from it, right? Yeah. So that's why the subject is re is titled "Return Unto Your Heritage." Now we go to Deuteronomy 32 and 26. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 26 I said I will scatter them into corners I will make the remembrance of them to seep among men see the most high said he will scatter us in the corners and he will make our remembrance to cease among men meaning people will forget that you're the Israelites right even ourselves yeah we forgot who we were. Yeah, we sure did. Right? Yep. And go into that precept. Go to that Psalms 83, verses 1, 2, 3. Psalms 183, no, no, Psalms 83, verse 1. It's Psalms of Psalms of Asaph. Keep not thy silence, O Elohim. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Elohim. 2. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. 3. They have taken Crafty counsel against thy people and consult against thy hidden ones. For they have said, Come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And 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 we go, because we go down to the rest of the verses, the most high gives us a list of the nations that had their hand in that. Right. Right? Yeah. yeah. To to cause us to reap no more remembrance in the earth. True. They cut us off. They cut us off. Right? Yep. Because if you go to that, so these are the nations the most has come against. Sure is. That's the list of the nations. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yep. So it's nothing like what you heard in Christianity. <laughs> right. That people will be saved if they repent. Oh, this yeah. is judgment of sure judgment is. that's coming on the nations. Exactly. Right? Yeah, but judgment. Yeah. And so, 
these you go down to there. Mm -hmm. How far? It's you know it's go to the all the na the, na all right. of the nations. All the nations. <clears throat> you can start. Psalms eighty three verse five. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Six. The tabernacle of Edom and the Israelite, the Moab, the Hagarines, the Gabal, Amran, Amalek. And the Philistine with the inhabitant of Tyre. Asher also joined with them. They have happened the children of Lot, Salah, and unto them, unto the Minneites in Syria, as a Jabin at the brooks of Kizar. That's it? Yeah, yeah. So we got the list of the nations, right? Yeah. And so let's go back to the curses. We go to Deuteronomy 28. Verses 25, I mean 45, and 46, 47, 48, go to 48. All right. Because I want, you know, this, what he said about you being destroyed. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearkest not unto the voice of the Lord thy Elohim to keep his commandments, his statute which he commanded thee. 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign, for a wonder, upon thy seed forever. 47. Because thou served not the Lord that Elohim with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. 48. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemy with the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger and thirst and nakedness and one of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. See? So we were destroyed once the arm came off, right? Right. So that shows you that uh, also, even though the Most High said that, yeah. we can see that the nations had their hand in it. Sure did. For us being destroyed. Right. As a nation. True. Right? Yep. And so uh, I wanted to get the precept for 47, because I know it's, it's somewhere in Amos, because it speaks that about, uh, you didn't, uh, what's called, uh, didn't rejoice of heart. Yeah. We, we weren't joyful, happy. Yeah. Joyful. Cause we didn't uh, about the Sabbath. We was like, when the Sabbath will be over, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, that's how bad it was. I say, what was that? Is that is that Amos? Yeah, it's an Amos. I, f I forgot what chapter, but it's uh. <coughs> set forth wheat, making the ephah small, and the shekel great, and the fortified the balance by deceit. See? 
with us. We did not rejoice. No, we did not. In the Sabbath, complaining. When when it's going to be over? Yeah, complaining. So that they can go sell. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So that's what the most high, when you go to the Deuteronomy 28, when you read that verse, it's in the. Uh, yeah. We said that you didn't rejoice of gladness. That you wasn't. They were really. <laughs> Pretty bad. Yeah, that's 47. Yeah. That's over 47 verse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that precept where we went to uh, in chapter 8, mm -hmm. precept, that's what the precept for. And uh, 28, Deuteronomy 28, 47. Yeah. said, Because that thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Yeah. Complaining, right? Yeah, we were complaining badly. Mm -hmm. Murmuring and all that. Mm -mm -mm. Wait, y'all ain't getting around to me, uh... Oh, right now we're telling you, oh, oh, okay, it's your name. Okay. Yeah. So the Most High wasn't happy with that. No, he wasn't. See Because we, we react. Yeah. So that is, you see, part of the curse. Sure is. Right? Yep. That's why the Most High is punishing yep. Israel. Yep. Right? Sure is. So now we see that uh, we bring out about the nations had their hand in it, right? Sure did. And you can see it all ties in Revelation 11. Revelation 11, start with 8, 9, and 10. Go to verses 8, 9, and 10. 8, 9, and 10, okay. Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead body shall lie in the street of the great city, which is specially called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. 9. And they of the people, the kindred, and tongue, and nation, shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. 10. And they that dwell upon the earth shall be drawn over them, and make merry, and sing, and they sh and shall send gift one to another, because these two prophets torment them that dwell on the earth. See, yeah. And we know that precept going in, breaking it, because I know a lot of a lot of people uh, they don't see that. It's really talking about the the two kingdoms. Yes. Right. Yeah. So that's talking about us, right? True. Dark sin. Yep. So Revelation 11 is a dark sin. Sure is. A lot, a lot of people can't see that. No, they can't. They can't see it all. Only those Israelites that's in the truth. Right. Can see it. Sure, Jay. Yep. So, uh, did we read uh, verse 10 yet? And uh, Yeah. Because it's, it's a good precept for that, for verse 10. Uh -huh. Lamentations. Lamentations 2.16. Lamentation, chapter 2, verse 16. And 
all thy enemies have opened up, opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash their teeth. They said, we have swallowed her up. Certainly this is the day that we look for. We have found and we have seen it. See? The nations waited for that. Sure did. They waited for your downfall. Yes. They wanted for you to fall. Yeah. And so by that, that's how they got all the wealth. Sure did. The wealth through your downfall. Yeah. When Israel fell as a nation. Sure did. Right? Yeah. So right there, so we fell as a nation, and you can tie that into the uh, uh, what's it called Luke uh, 24, 21, right? Uh, Luke? Yeah. No, 20, I think 21, 24, right? Yeah. Because that's talking about the fall, right? Right. That's when we went into captivity. Yep. To all nations. Sure did. You know, in Christianity, when you read, I heard pastors do this, when, you know, we know that this scripture in uh, Luke 24, 21 is talking about the fall of yeah. Israel, right? Yeah, the fall. That's not what I heard in pastors. They they call it, that was the end of the church age. What? That's not the end of the church age. What? Because it also talked about the end of the, the, the Gentiles' rule, Yeah. Right? Talking about Esau. Right. The end of his rule. They, they went the over to Esau. So I heard pastors in, in Christianity, they, they talk about that the end of the church age. They use that scripture that. Really? That's not the end of the no, church No, it sure isn't. <laughs> that's also, that scripture is talking about the fall of Israel. And yeah. it's talking about the fulfillment of the Gentile exactly. rulers. Yeah, they're going to be ruling. Man. Well, like I said, Paul, these ministers, they got problems. Okay, everybody ready? Luke. Chapter 21, verse 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles, until the time that the Gentiles shall be fulfilled. See, that is not talking about the end of church age. Sure isn't. Right? <laughs> sure not. Mm -hmm. Where did they get that at? Yeah. yeah. And so that's not talking about that. No, it sure isn't. Because it's talking also about us going, falling as a nation, going into captivity. That's right. To all nations. Yeah. And then why the Gentiles, they trod in our land. Sure did. Because they're in Jerusalem, right? Yep. Now, right? Yep. Their rulership. Yep. Until the times of their fulfillment is over. True. Talking about the end of their rulership. Right. But we can give you precepts for their rulership uh -huh. that tell, tell you that they will be ruling. That's yep. in uh, Esdras, 2nd Esdras. Yeah. 2nd six, yeah. six, nine. 6 9, right? Yep. So, the fourth one is the Sephir, though. Right. Uh, fourth Ezra is the Sephir. And the, and the prophet of the second Ezra. So, this ties into uh, Luke 20, 24 21. Sure is. You talking about six nine? Is it six? It's, yeah, it's six nine. Yeah. You might got it. And so this precept with that, and so this tells, and it breaks down that that's not talking about no church. Age. True, right? That is no end of the church. Age. True. Doesn't say none of that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Second or um, fourth extra. Chapter 6, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So that tell you, at the end, the Esau will be ruling at yeah. the end time. Yeah. Which you see, we see it happening now. Right. Right? Yeah. So, when you're blinded and drunk, yeah. you're going to say a lot of things. Yeah. So being drunk off of Christianity, yeah. you're drunk. It just drunk. You're drunk. Yep. Yeah. And you're blind, you can't see you can't see straight. True. Right. Very true. Right? Yep. And so with that being with the, the destruction of our, our nation, them fallen, you can go to Matthew seventeen eleven, where Christ said that Elijah must come first, right? Right. To restore all things. 
a lot of our people don't know how many times he came. Exactly. He came more than one time. Sure did. Right? Yep. So already he came twice, right? Sure did. Now he came third, right? Yep. Because we can tell by us waking up. Right. So he came already, yep. right? Sure did. Matthew 17, verse 11. And Ahushua answered and said unto them, Elijah truly shall come first. And that uh, women. Wait, that's Matthew. Women. Yeah. yeah, Matthew, Matthew 17, 17. Yeah, verse 11. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay. And Yahushua answered and said to them, Ahushua truly shall first come and restore all things. Notice why, why did Christ say he will restore all things? Because we destroyed and lost everything. Yeah. Our mind being destroyed. Right? True. We lost our, our heritage, our nation. So, the prophet Elijah come back to restore that back. Yeah. And you get the precept in that. That's in uh, Malachi chapter 4. And I think it started out with... Yeah, 4. Going all the way to 6. Okay. Yeah. In Malachi. Chapter 4, verse 4. Remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded him and her for all Israel with the statue and judgment. 5. Behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the coming and great and dreadful day of the Lord. 6. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. So he's talking about he would turn, Elijah would come back and turn the children back to the fathers. Who are the children? It's talking about Israel. Right. Turning us back to the fathers. Who's the fathers? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes. And then the prophets and the apostles. Right. Of this of the book, of the yes. Bible. Because they, right? Yeah. Meaning you're going to have their mindset. True. Right? Yeah. Not because a lot of people got Christianity, you got to come out of that. Yeah, they right? their mindset. Yeah. They so, there. coming back to your, your heritage, right? True. So, that's what the prophecy that this is going into right here, right? Yes, yes. That he would turn you back to your heritage. True. Walk you up. That's going on right now. You are, right. We are turned back right now. Yeah. Meaning we woke up to our heritage, who we are. True. That we know we are Israelites. Right. Of the tribe of Judah. Yes. And whatever tribe you may be of. Yes. If you may be of the other tribes. Waking up, yeah, because the most high is waking them up at this hour, sure is, right? Yes, he is. So, right now, we see that we are close to the end, yeah. Well, I can't say we're close to the end, it's like we are there now, yeah, it's almost, it's almost there. there, yeah, you know, yeah, see all that that's going on, true. And so, also, we give you a precept, and I would give you a scripture about the about the uh, the uh, what's called it, the heritage. You can go to Deuteronomy, I think it's 33 or 33. Let me see. Thirty-three, yeah, it's thirty-three, four. Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 4. Moses commanded us a law, even the inheritance of the congregation of Jacob. See? That is plain. Yeah. It tell you the law is your heritage. Sure is. Right? So that means the whole Bible is your heritage. That's right. Right? Yep. Not half of it. Yeah, all of it. Right? Yep. 
See? And then, you don't mind if I go back to the Malachi 4.4? 4, 4. Okay. So 4.4. 4. Malachi chapter 4 verse 4. Remember ye the law of Moses my servant which command which I commanded to him and her for all Israel with the statute and judgment. See and the precept for this to remember what is it what does it mean to remember the Lord? Because in church well, how you they would tell you probably remember Sunday. Yeah. And uh been come to church. Yeah. Remember the uh, you know, <laughs> the Lord. The same guy did. Yeah, yeah. That's not remembering the Lord. No, it sure isn't. <laughs> the precept is to remember the Lord is to remember His laws. Yes. Right? Yes. And that's in Deuteronomy 8.11. Okay. Right? Yep. Yeah. That's how you remember the Lord. His laws. Sure is. So when you cast His laws behind your back, you forget about Him. Yeah. So you cast a log behind your back, you cast the most high behind it. Yeah, exactly. That's not good. Especially for the creator. Yeah. So this is what it means to remember the 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 most high. Right. The Marimer Yehuda. Mm-hmm. Right. Deuteronomy chapter chapter eight verse eleven. Beware that thou forget not the Lord that Elohim in not keeping his commandments, his stat his judgment, his statute, which I command thee this day. Or you might call him Yahweh. Yep. There's so many names oh, so many. out there. Yep. Right? Yep. And so right here, so this is how you remember. And it's another scripture that, that ties in that you can go to Ecclesiastes one twelve, it says remember your creator. Right. Right? Yep. But a lot of uh, a lot of our people don't know how you how you do that. So this is how we showing you how, how the, this is what the Bible said, and this is how you remember the Lord. Yeah. Remember His commandments. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, another one in the pocket for it. Oh, the regular one. Oh, yeah. Twelve. Twelve. Twelve one. This right here, a lot of people don't have that knowledge right here. Sure don't. That, that, that this is how you remember the Lord. Right. Is to keep his commandments. That's it. That's the number one key. Somebody said, well, I remember Christmas, so I remember, oh, I remember the Lord. Oh. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, that's all. That's Nimrod. Sure is. Right? Yeah. 12-1. Yeah, 12-1. Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 1. Remember now that created in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou saw shall say, I have no pleasure in them. See, right there. Plain. Plain. And and our precept for remember the Lord, Deuteronomy 8 11. Yeah. That all ties into that. Sure it does. Right? Yep. So remember the Lord is not remembering Sunday. True. And Sunday school. Yeah, that's, that's, it's that's all pagan. Yeah, it's all pagan. Right? Yeah. It is remembering his laws. True. Right? Yep. That's what it is. Sure is. And I think we have because uh, if you can see this now, now that he gave you the law, you can see now you give you can understand the Bible a lot more better. True. So Jeremiah four one, you understand this. Four one.
Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 1. If thou wilt return, O Israel, said the Lord, return unto me. And if thou wilt put away thy abomination out of my sight, then shall thou not renew. See? So this scripture he said return. That, that's repentance. Yes. Because repentance means to return. True. But how can I return if I don't have my law? Right. Right? Yeah. Because only you can repent if you have the law, right? Yeah. So True. only Israel can repent. True. Right? Yeah. Because he gave it the law to Israel. Sure did. And so when he talks about return, now you understand what return means. Right. Return is repentant. Sure does. Repent. Yep, repent. Right? Yep. So that all goes in what we just had the precept from Deuteronomy, you know, 8, 11 with Malachi 4. Yep. And all that that you're talking about. Yep. Remember the law, right? Yep. Now let's go to Deuteronomy 31, 19, right? Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 19. Now therefore write ye this psalm for you and teach it the children of Israel. Put it in their mouth that this psalm may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. So you may read that part when the Lord is telling Moses yeah. write this song, put it in the mouth of Israel. You get to understand what he's writing. Right. At verse 24. Yeah. You go to verse 24, now you know what's the law. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You go there. Want to go ahead and read it? Yeah. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 24. And it shall, it came to pass when Moses had made an end of writing the words of this law in the book until they were finished. See? Now let's go to uh, Psalms 40 and 3. Psalm. Oh, yeah, Psalm, Psalm 43. Yeah. 40 and 3. Now, this is a good one I'm going to show you. Psalms, chapter 40, verse 3. And he hath put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our Elohim, many shall see it in fear and shall trust in the Lord. Now, this is a very powerful statement, but it says that he said he will put a new song in your mouth. Yeah. And everyone will see it and they will fear. So my question is, we hear the songs in Christianity mm -hmm. that's singing. Mm -hmm. Is the people fearing the people when they see them sing those uh, songs in no. church? No. Right? No. Is the nation scared of that? No. No. So this lets you see that it's not talking about that. True. Right? Right. And I can give you the precept for that when it's talking about, uh, go to Re uh, Revelation 11. Okay. And it's in verse 11. So 11, 11. Okay. So this is the precept that's saying about, he said he'll give you a new song and the, and all who see will fear. Okay. Right? Yeah. Revelation chapter 11, verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from Elohim entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. See? It was the law of the Lord. Yes. That's entering in. Yeah. You fall asleep, Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy, you fall asleep over there. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, right. So right there. So at 40. So you see. Now you see. Yeah. Now you see clear what was saying in Psalm 40 and 3. You said, I will put a new song on you, right? Right. 
And all who see, yeah. He's talking about all who see, yeah. I mean, nations are going to see. That's right. He said, and they will fear. They will, yes. Yeah. So it's not talking about those gospel songs. No, it sure hear. isn't. It's talking about the law. It's talking about the law. Yeah. So right here, you see the precept right here. It's in Revelations 11, 11. Yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah. So let's read that again. 11, 11. Revelation chapter 11, verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from Elohim entered into them. And they stood upon their feet. And great fear fell upon them what saw them. See, they saw them because the law entered in them. And they see, and they're going to have great fear seeing Israel being awakened by the law. Right. The nations. Yes. They scared now. Yeah. They're shaking it up. Sure is. Right? Yeah. And they, then they, now, you yeah. can piece this all together now. We have pieced this all together. Now you see how this will come together now. And you go to Amos 5, 23 and 24. So Amos 5, 23 and 24. Amos chapter 5 verse 23 Take thou away from me the noise of that song for I will not hear the melody of thy vows. 24 But let judgment run down as water and righteousness as the mighty stream. So the Most High said take away, away from him the noise of thy song. May the noise of your Christianity right. and, your, and your gospel yeah. which is the song of oppression Sure. Because God, because Christianity is the religion of oppression. Sure is. Right? Yes, it is. It's not what the Most High gave us. Sure he is. gave us a heritage. Yes. Right? Yeah. I know some of y'all will be mad because I'm bringing this out, but this was what this is what the Most High gave me. Right. To show you. Yeah. And so, what's what he gonna put a new song in those who gonna awaken to the truth? Yeah. The nation's gonna see and they're gonna fear they're gonna because fear. it's the law. It's not the gospel songs that you've been singing in church. Right. Right? Right. Because he said, take away the noise of thy songs. And you go into the verse, he said, but let judgment rain down as and waters. Yeah. Because when you stand up in the laws, yeah. what's going to happen? Yeah. You're going to bring judgment. True. Right? Yes. And so, and we, can, we, we can go to uh, Isaiah 30 and 12 and 13. Isaiah chapter 30 and 12 and 13. But this goes into what I was saying, oppression, right? Uh huh. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 12 Wherefore thus said the, uh, the Holy One of Israel because ye despised his word and trusted oppression and perversion, perverseness and stayed thereof 13 Therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall swelling out of the, the high wall whose breaking comes suddenly at the instant so that means this goes into the Most High's taking away oppression, meaning he's taking away Christianity. Yeah. Because that has been forced upon us, right? Right. Oppression. Sure. You've been living oppression, right? Yep. And so he's taking away that away, right? Thank you, Lord. So now we go go back to uh, Psalms 40 and 3. Psalms chapter 40 verse 3 and he had put a new song in my mouth even praise to our Elohim 
Many shall see it in fear and, and shall trust in the Lord. Yeah, and Revelation 11, 11 again. Okay. Yeah. Revelation chapter 11, verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from Elohim entered into, the, entered into them. And they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. So that's the song that, that the Most High put in. Yeah. So now let's go to Revelation 14, 3. Revelation 14, 3. Revelation chapter 14 verse 3. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the poor beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. See, that song again, right? Yeah. And so we know also this song goes into the Bible. Yeah. That no one can learn it but the 144,000 who the Most High has chosen. Right. Right? Yeah. So right here, and then go back to uh, Amos 5, 23 and 24. Take away the songs. Now we under. Now we understand it. Now, right? Yeah. Take away all that. All that mess. Them Christian songs. The gospel yeah. songs. Yeah. Because she loved them. Want to hear it? Yeah. Because now he want to bring judgment. Yeah. We gonna we gonna go more into that after we get this precept. Okay. okay. Amos five, chapter twenty three. I mean verse twenty three. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vials. 24, but let the judgment run down as waters, and righteousness as a mighty strength. See, he said, let judgment rain down now, and I give you the precept for that, that judgment rain down, that's in Psalms 149, starting out with 5, 6, going all the way to 9. Start with 5? Yeah. Going all the way to verse 9. Okay. So all those verses. Where you at now? Psalms 149. Okay, Psalms. See it? Yeah. And it's first five to nine. Okay. Psalms 149, verse 5. Let the saint be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Six. Let the high praise of Elohim be in their mouth. And the two-edged sword in their hand. Seven. To execute vengeance upon the heathens and punish upon the people. Eight. To bind their king with change and their noble with feather of honor, uh, iron. Nine. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. See? So that's the song. Because now when, the, when you get the law, from now you're going to execute judgment. And the earth. That's it. And you're going to execute judgment on, he said, on all the heathen. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What's the heathen? The nation. Yeah. Right? How can the nation be coming in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I give you another precept that ties with that too. Revelation 13, 13 10. Okay. Sit down over there. Sit.
Revelation 13.10. Revelation chapter 13 verse 10. He that leaveth into captivity shall be going to captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. See? Wow. Yeah. There's some serious stuff going down. <laughs> yes, it is. The nation's going into captivity. Yep. Right? Sure is. Right here, I right? I didn't hear that, but... Hey, that's what it is. How's this written? Ezekiel enticement to this. Yeah. Ezekiel 25, 14, right? Ezekiel 25, 14. That's good. Yeah, very, very, very good. Yes. So, when the Most High say that scripture giving, He said He will give you a new song, and all the nations, you know, all who, who see you mm -hmm. are going to fear. I have never seen nobody fear no anybody when they sing a gospel song. Right. I didn't see nobody fear. I don't see them, dude. There's no fear there. It's this law you trust that's gonna that once I get filled with the law and yeah. walk in the law, you're yeah. gonna be fearing fearing that because I'm gonna because once I got the law in me, yeah, I'm gonna execute judgment that's in the earth. It. Yep. You know? Yep. Righteous, righteous righteousness. Acts. Yeah. The righteous acts. It's true. Ezekiel chapter twenty five, verse fourteen. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. By the hand of my people Israel, they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. They shall know my vengeance, says the Lord Elohim. See? Ooh, you got some side, he said vengeance is his, but he's going to lay vengeance by the, by the hand of his people. Yeah. Which ties into uh, Psalms 149, when we're going to execute judgment. Okay. Right there, it okay. ties in. Right. So you can get the precept again, go yeah. to Psalms 149. All right. It was said about execute, you to execute vengeance upon yeah. the heathen. Okay. And punishments. Yeah, I'm going to go back to Psalm 149. Yeah, we want that verse was said to execute vengeance yeah. upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. Yeah, here it goes. Oh, you, wanted, uh, you just want that, that one verse, right? And you, you can go two verses. Okay, I'll go, I'll go. You can probably go all the way to the end, right? I'll go all the way to the end, yeah. Yeah. So you see how that ties yeah, together? Psalm 149, verse 6. Let the high praise of Elohim be in thy mouth, and the two is sword in their hand, to execute vengeance upon the heathen, to punish upon the people, eight, to bind their king with chain, and the noble with feathers of iron, not to execute upon them the judgment written, dishonor, have all this, all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. Wow. So that sounds like the saints are putting the nations in slavery. Exactly. Right? Yep. I don't think they want to hear that. And hey, you never heard that in church? No, you're going to. You're not going to. In church. Right? Right. So... This is in your Bible. Exactly, Paul. It's in your Bible. It's in the Bible. You can speak and, and say this is hate speech and all that, and all that, but it's in your Bible. It's in the Bible. So I guess it might say the Bible's a hate speech. Yeah, you say the Bible's a hate speech. Really? Think because about it. it's in your Bible. It's in your Bible. Right? Yeah. And we only just coming out of the scriptures. We quote the scriptures sure and breaking the scriptures down. Yep. Right? Yep. So right there. And we give you another one. Isaiah 45, 14. Right? Isaiah 45, 14. Okay, he's Isaiah. Isaiah 45, 14. Mm -hmm. 
Isaiah chapter 25 verse 14. Thus said the Lord, the labor of Egypt, the merchandise of Ethiopia, and of the uh, Serbian, men of stature, shall come over to thee, and they shall be thine. They shall come at thee in chain. They shall come over, and they shall fall down unto thee, and they shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Surely I am he is in thee, and there is none else. There is no Elohim. See? Slavery. Yeah, right there. They come in chains. Yep. They're going to bow down to Israel. Sure is. That's what he said in the scripture right there. Wow. Right? Many people miss this. You missed that. Slavery. How did the church miss this? So the nations. It's right there. Going into captivity. So, and you know what? The whole world be mad when you, and you read this. They say, oh my goodness. Yeah. We're we going to captivity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They be mad. Yeah. This is it right here. Right. Wow. How many miss it? Captivity. Captivity. Right. Yep. They go into captivity. That's why you can go. It's going to show you that the nation is going to be mad for that. Because yep. you go to. I think it's in. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, Revelations eleven eighteen. The yep. nation is going to be angry. Yep. Why are they angry? Because what we just read. Right. What we break down. Right. Yep. That's what they're going to be mad about. So everybody's not jumping around and being happy when Christ comes back. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, one of the words I missed. Which one you missed? Uh -huh. uh, uh, Deuteronomy. I got Deuteronomy, but I, got, I didn't okay, got the wait minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see what you missed. 31. Is it 3119? Yeah, yeah, 3119, 24. Oh, and this is another yeah. one. See right here? <laughs> so I got Deuteronomy, <laughs> now I missed the number. <laughs> Or maybe I got it wrong, but I thought it was a... No, you got, you got that wrong. Okay. So I thought it was no, a... No, no, it is another one, but it, it go right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, because yep. of what we just read there. Exactly. Showing you that captivity. Yep. Is coming. Sure is. Right? Yep. Judgment. Uh, Revelation chapter 11 verse 18. And the nation were angry, and thy wrath is come. At the time of the dead, they that should be judged, that thou should give reward unto thy servant the prophet, and to the saint, and to them that fear thy name, small and great, shall destroy them which destroy the earth. See? So those who destroy the earth are going to be destroyed. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The Bible said it. Sure is. The Bible said it. Then they do a lot of damage right? to this earth. So, what are these people preaching? I don't know. What are you preaching and talking about preaching? harmony and, and peace for everybody? The Bible don't say that. Sure don't. Don't say that at all. They ain't saying The Bible's not saying that. Unless they get another book. Because right here, it doesn't say that. Right? Mm -hmm. True. We just show you that captivity is coming. Exactly. That the nation's going into captivity. Sure is. Yeah. I know you ain't going. I know some of you that may watch us yeah. when you hear this. You may yeah. get mad. Yep. They're going to get mad. Yeah. But read it for yourself. Yeah. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. The Bible is saying. Read it. Yeah. And you may get mad when it's burned the book. Yep. Yep. Right. Yep, it's right there. But the Most High said His word stands. Sure does. Even if you burn the book. Yeah. It's gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna, it, it, it gonna do what it, what the Bible right? said. Yep. It's gonna happen. It's gonna come to pass. Right. There's nothing you can do. They can stop it. Right. Right. You see, it, it, see, everything is falling. Now. Sure. Yeah. You know. Weather's in chaos. Everything's going crazy. Everything People is going crazy. The most high. Going on. Yeah. He's in the process of bringing everything to pass. Sure is. Well, with that end, we end with that pretty much. Okay. And showing you right. So we turn, so if you were Israel, we turn to your heritage. True. Repent. Yes. It's like Revelation 18, 4 said, come out of her, my people. Yes. Yeah. And that you won't receive her plagues. Right. Separate yourself. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Sit over there. Sit. Don't start acting up. You are doing good for a while, but now you're getting out of hand. Already? Yeah. Ready? yeah. yeah. Ready? Ready. All right. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the truth. And as we go from here, we ask you that you.
bless the hands of prepared food, bless the, the fellowship, and Father, we ask you right now as we go. Shalom.